It says you're live now. All right, we're live now. That is so cool. All righty. So hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining Candid Conversations with Coach D. I'm glad you guys could join me today. So before we get started, everybody, please go and share this video right now. I'm going to share. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Everybody that's watching, go share, share, share. Share. Please share. This is going to be an awesome show that we're having. Share, share, share. Please, everybody, go share right now. Wherever you are, go and share. This is Revive Your Life today. So please make sure you share. Going to get some amazing wisdom today. Please, please share, share. You are going to be happy you joined on today. All right. So oh, I shared it, I guess, as much as I can. <laughs> so we are ready to get started. I want to introduce to you guys um, who we have on today. Um, I'm excited about this because this is my family that is on on today. Um, they are an amazing couple. They have an amazing, amazing, amazing family. Um, they are um, the Dangerfield. Say hello. Woo! And they have, <laughs> they have a business called Revive. Um, and so I am so excited to have them on and they have their kids. So go ahead and introduce yourself. If you're just joining, this is Candid Conversations with Coach D. You guys know I do this about every other Thursday. I do Candid Conversations with Coach D. We have different people on different topics. So today is Revive Your Life. And I know everybody's like, Revive Your Life? What is that? So um, if you can, go ahead and introduce yourself and your kids. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Albert. And, and my name is Courtney. My name is Emil. My name is Gay. My name is Evan. <laughs> yep. And welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. And if you didn't hear them, this is Emil. This is Gabriel. And this is Emmy. That's right. <laughs> A bunch of boys. Yes, a bunch of boys. A bunch, a bunch of boys. So before we start, do you guys want more kids? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> they they keep us uh, busy. Uh, we are definitely happy. I thought this one was going to be a girl, and oh. so when he when he turned out to be a boy, we're like, all right, well that's it for us. No more. That's it. <laughs> yeah, wow. So no. I used to be that guy to say, uh, oh, I want 10 kids. I want a, I want a house full of kids until I have one. <laughs> Once I have one, that number is shrunk, shrunk. And uh, we have uh, four boys. Of course, my oldest is not here. But uh, we tried to get the girl in, but of course, she didn't fit. But I am grateful and thankful that we got boys. Yeah, for sure. That so. you got boys. Right. <laughs> yes, so. Yes. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Everybody, if you're just joining, this is Candid Conversations with Coach D. Today is Revive Your Life. And so um, Revive Your Life is their business. It's not Revive Your Life. I named the show Revive Your Life for today, but their business is called Revive. So um, if you can go ahead and explain to us um, what Revive is, 
where you got the word revive and how you got started with revive. Okay, so let's see where we wanna, okay. So the name revive, um, I love what it means uh, just because it like, you know, rejuvenating something, renewing something, making something new again, giving life to something. And I got the name because this is gonna sound deep, but I promise I'm not deep. But um, one day in a, a church service, um, my old pastor, he was praying for me or something. And he was like, you have a revival in your belly. Mm -hmm. and, and he was just, you know, pat my belly, just telling me I had a revival in my belly. And that just kind of stuck with me. And as I kind of started studying, you know, what that meant, Hence the name, we decided to name it Revive. And he'll kind of tell you how the business even started. It's so funny. I'll tell the first, well, go ahead and then I'll. Yeah, so unfortunately it didn't start off with, it didn't start off with us wanting to eat or do better. It's actually started off with the famous honey bun cake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's why I think it's It started so off with the famous honey bun cake that uh, okay. Pastor D that's on here uh, actually uh, taught Courtney how to make. And, you know, it was a big hit at work. So I was yeah. I was selling slices of honey bun cake for We're a dollar cut. a piece. <laughs> You're talking about, I, I work in a call center full of, full of people that, you know, they tell you because we work in a certain system where you gotta be back in, it's literally a 15 minute break. You go over one second, you're in the red. The same thing with lunch. So a lot of people, they look for things that they don't have to leave the call center. So, you know, honey bun cake was a hit there. And uh, I started off selling honey bun cake. And, you know, after a while, I started feeling convicted about it, you know. So I went from the honey bun cake and said, let me provide these people some snacks. So then I started selling snacks. And it went from snacks to say, you know what? Um, some, somebody said something to me one day. It's like, you ain't got nothing healthy. <laughs> you know, we sit down all day in a call center and, you know, you provide us with, you know, sodas and, you say, hey. and they made a great point, you know, and when it, when I think about um, life in general, um, I work in health insurance. That's uh, my profession. I'm actually a trainer and I teach about health insurance and how expensive it is. And I talk to um, people, seniors, every single day that talk about, you know, in their youth of not doing this, not doing that, and it's actually costing them a lot of money to actually take care of themselves over time. So I realized that, hey, I'm talking to people every day that's having health problems, every single day. Mm -hmm. And here, I'm sitting here facilitating uh, snacks that's not helping people or Don't giving them nutrition. Get Everything. Oh, so, snacks. <laughs> so snack snacks. Doing, yeah. So I went from doing that to, um, Start making detox waters, and mm -hmm. um, I started making detox waters, and I was doing different things, putting basil, you know, mint. Um, I did my research um, on the actual mint versus basil because when it comes to gender, um, there's certain things that you don't want to boost too much in testosterone, and you don't want to boost too much in estrogen. You actually want to have a good balance, and you know, mint right. really disrupts your uh, testosterone, and of course, basil disrupts your uh, estrogen. So you learn things. So we started doing our research and started developing with the detox waters and the detox waters was a hit. And mm. uh, from there, um, I had a coworker that said, you know what? I brought this, somebody bought me this juicer or they bought this juicer and it's been sitting idle for like maybe about a year, they yeah. told me. And they said, you know, if you're, if you're gonna do something with this, then I'll give this to you. And shouts out to uh, Floby, yeah. uh, Loretta, uh, that got everything going for us because she actually gave us our first juicer um, to get the business started and it kind of birthed wow. from there. So once I started actually doing the juices now, before we really dived in, my experiences and maybe even yours, even the viewers that listening, when you think about health, you think about a drink, the first thing come to your mind is nasty, nasty, nasty. I don't care how many YouTube videos you watch, how many people say, Mm, this is delicious. No, it was nasty. <laughs> and and taste is a motivator, right? 
taste is a huge motivator. And I understand that, you know, people remember from their last experience. So mm -hmm. one thing that we wanted to do was start a business around how can we get the taste down pat to motivate people to have more healthier options? Because if I had to choose over a, a, a gate, uh, um, some soda beverage, let's say if I like ginger ale and hey, the holiday season, I like the cranberry, right? Ginger ale, I wanna go with a cranberry, ginger ale, I don't wanna drink a kale drink. Every single time I drink that cranberry, ginger ale. Why? Because the taste is what drives me, right? right. And um, we, we spent a bunch of time really getting the recipe down uh, when it comes to our drink. I think Which I- we're gonna talk about later. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about later, but that really, what got us motivated. How can we um, bring the taste back to health and motivate people to say, oh, this is a great drink, what's in it? And when we started, people would say, are you sure <laughs> this doesn't have sugar in it? This doesn't have this, no, it's all natural ingredients. And uh, that's something that we pride ourselves in. Well, I can definitely tell you, I've had, let me see, I had the orange one, I had a green one, I had the red one, I think, I can definitely tell you they are amazing drinks. Um, you, you have to stop yourself because the bottle is about how many ounces is the bottle? Eight ounces. The bottle is only eight ounces. I I was like, um, <laughs> can I get a 24 ounce? <laughs> so they're really good, they're cold, they're refreshing. Um, and so I can definitely tell you that they are good. And I'm and I'm sure they'll get into it and tell you all the different types of recipes and different things that I'm sure if you do this on a daily basis, you would definitely, um, you would definitely feel the difference in your body and your yeah. energy. Um, and um, they'll definitely probably tell you about one of my favorite ones that I do almost every night now that I'm definitely gonna have one tonight um, <laughs> is the turmeric latte um, yeah. <laughs> that my husband yeah. likes now. So he was oh, tasting nice. it. Nice. Yes. And, I, I made some for um, a couple of people and so they kind of liked it. So um, my next question to you guys is, um, let me get my little questions. Um, so um, we talked about how you got started with Revive and you kind of already talked about what your focus and your goal was, is getting the taste down pat so that it can draw people and that even though it tastes good, it's good for you. So that's already kind of what the goal is. And because you want people to be healthy, because you started off selling, being the snack master and selling <laughs> honey bun right. cakes and yes. um, snacks and sodas, then I'll be waiting for my cut because you were selling honey bun I'm just playing. Yes, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But you started off selling honey bun cake and snacks and all these different things. And then, you know, it's amazing because one day someone said, do you sell anything healthy? And it's kind of like, you know what? Okay. Um, and so you've already kind of talked about what your focus and your goal is. The next question is we also already, already know, and which was one of my questions, it is a family business because you have your kids were here in the beginning and it yes. looks like they, they help you guys a lot, right? Yes, yes. they definitely do. Um, the boys know how to, like, we have to prep before we start making juices um, so they know how to prep. They know how to actually use our juicer, which we'll talk about what kind of juicer we have okay. um, later. But they know how to juice. They Everything that we know how to do, they know how to do. So if it was one of those days where I'm like, hey, Gabriel, I need you to make one of our green juices for me. I just remind him exactly of what goes in it and he could get it done. Yes. So and, it's and the almost, motivator. I'm, would you say, Pastor D? No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. And the motivator of why we... Um, because I've learned something along the way. The reason why we made it a family business, because we've been um, in situations where, think about if you have a spouse, you have friends, or you have children, you have a family, how effective is it to start something by yourself? Um, just think about that. We, okay, I um, did a vegan diet before and my family just kept eating whatever. That was a huge um, struggle for me to stay motivated. Why? It's because they was constantly bringing the stuff in the house that I'm trying to stop using, stop uh, partaking in. But one thing that I've learned is if you invest into it, if you take the time to get in your car, to drive to the store, to push your car, to put it in there, to bring it home, you are going to eat it. Number That's one. right. So, so you can't trick yourself to believe that if you bring it in the house, you're going to indulge. So I've learned that um, 
it's not enough for me just to want to be more healthier. It's not enough just for my, uh, me and my wife want to be more healthier. But what are we doing to invest in our kids and make sure that yes. we set them up for success as well? So the most effective thing that we found is when the husband and wife and the family is on one accord. On one, one accord. accord operating saying health is important yes. that we all understand that is a vital part and even with juices was the first platform and we are developing of course into uh shakes and our, also food as well because we understand that you know doing this together as a family will last i don't want to be the type of person that okay i'm in here juicing i'm in here getting right. healthy but my family's getting sick so it's That's still right. going to affect me directly and indirectly regardless of our decision so that's why we make everything a family even the time that you want to spend together mm -hmm. we, some of our most valuable time and Yay. bonding comes from when we're operating together when we're on one that's accord awesome actually juicing and stuff so because it's a lifestyle and you're right. also leaving a legacy and um if anybody that's watching um, myself and the Dangerfields, we are pastors in the same organization together, Force of Life International. Um, yeah, so um, they are pastors as well. And one of the things that we definitely believe in um, in our organization is family. Um, and so that is an amazing thing, family leaving a legacy and that, you know, we all need to be on one accord. So we talked about it's a family business. Um, one of the things um, that I want to get into before we really get into the meat of it and the different um, recipes and everything is before we um, get into that, I want you guys just to kind of tell us what are some of those changes that you've seen in your body and in your lifestyle since you've made the change to start juicing and these different things. What are some of the things you've feel um, mentally, spiritually, naturally, just tell us some of the changes and um, that you felt from juicing in the lifestyle change of Revive. Um, I'll, I'll start. I'll say for me, it's been so monumental because um, anyone who knows me knows that my entire life, I have struggled with digestive issues. Like okay. I remember my mom would tell me when I, when I was little, um, after lunchtime at school, she'd have to come and bring me like my Lanta or Pepto or something because she knew something that I ate was probably going to upset my stomach. And it's like, I lived like that for years. And one of the biggest things that I noticed is that when I'm juicing, it has strengthened my digestive system so much. Like some of the issues that I used to deal with, like the um, you know, the constipation, just being real, because somebody else out there may be struggling with it too. Um, you know, one of the things I wanted was just to be regular. And that sounds crazy, but believe it or not, a lot of people are not regular. If you're not going to the bathroom every day, you're not regular. And that was one of the biggest things too, that I saw when it came to juicing and even, you know, something simple as like celery juice in the mornings. And it's one of those things where sometimes it may not taste the best, which are, you know, our juices that we actually sell, they taste really good, but I'll juice some other things as well that your taste buds will have to adapt to, but it is really good for you. Like it helps reduce bloating. That's something that I've always struggled with. But like, you know, sometimes I would eat or whatever the case may be and I just blow up like a balloon. And I found that when I drink celery juice in the mornings, it's like, golly, my bloating is just gone. And then on top of like the pluses of just one extra energy, when you juice, the great thing about the cold pressed juicer that we use is it goes instantly into the bloodstream. So the energy, um, clear skin, better sleep, you know, um, just the little things that we can sometimes take for granted, like if you can sleep great at night or if you don't deal with little aches and pains and inflammation, but for right. those that do, juicing has really changed that um, for me. And I will share some other recipes, you know, once we get into the meat of things, but it has really changed my life. Yeah, I, I think for me, you know, let's, let's think about this in perspective um, as being one, we're, we're, um, working, right? Um, and work is very demanding, right? And then once you get off of work, doesn't mean you're off from work. You, if you have a spouse 
Um, they have needs, you have needs. And guess what? The family that you've created, those children, they have needs. So it's a constantly cycle of pulling energy, pulling, pulling, pulling. And um, one of the things that, that I've learned that I've seen develop over time as we made the alterations to our diet is that I have more clarity, I have more energy mm. to do things. You know, um, I don't feel like I'm fatigued all of the time. You know, um, I don't feel like when I'm done eating, oh man, I just need to go lay down. You know that food that really zaps you all of your energy. Like when you eat breakfast in the morning, you shouldn't feel like you're ready to go to sleep. You should feel like you're ready to go to work. You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know, that tells you right now that it's missing the nutrition that the body needs because does it doesn't that mean, give you energy and puts you to sleep. Does that mean it's called the itis? <laughs> yes. The itis. Okay. You have the itis eating the right thing. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's dangerous. The, the one thing that's, that's really dangerous is understand that your hormones and your body sends off signals. And what I'm seeing when you don't give the body what it needs, then think about this. If you're constantly putting the wrong thing in your body and your gut, your gut is pretty much your second body. And when you're constantly feeding yourself something, you never get a time to reset and you're not giving it what it needs. What happens in your body is your signals start going off wrong. So most people, when they crave, they crave wrong because they're putting the wrong things in their body. So when it's time to eat, it's really they're thirsty. They need something to drink. Not They don't need to eat. They need to drink something, But and, and vice versa. When it's time to uh, get something to drink, they go eat. So the because your hormone uh, signals are so rapid and off and it's not getting what it needs, then the body don't really know what to do with it. And a lot of times, the body is storing fat, holding on to things, because it don't know what to do with it. It, it, it. Okay, these signals should function a certain way, but you're slowly, you're slowly deteriorating your insides and you're, and what happens is if you put the right things in your body, then it knows how to discard it. It knows what it's supposed to do. The properties work together. But when you put the wrong thing in your body, it just sits there idle. So you ever see those stubborn uh, fat and things that hold on to you? A lot of times it's not really exercise. It's really diet, which is, just as important as the exercise you know it doesn't that make sense is, to to eat yeah. eat whatever that is the key that is the key a lot of times people think oh i just got to exercise but i tell people all the time it's exercise and your diet um right. your diet plays um a major part so i'm excited um to hear some of, um, you know, I don't know where you guys are going to start, but I want to know some of your, your favorite recipes, um, the, the, the benefits, um, cause I know you guys do so many different things. You do gummies and, um, yeah. you do drinks and, um, so I'm not sure where you guys are going to start at. We have about 30 more minutes left and that's plenty of time. Um, we might have extra time. Um, but I just, <laughs> Don't know where you guys want to start as far as telling us your favorite drinks, your favorite recipes, um, you know, the, the nutrients that are in them, the benefits, what they do for your body. Um, because like you said, there are people in here that are going to have questions about bloating. I mean, there may be women on here that feel like during their time of the month, they are bloated and they get cramps. Um, some people may have issues with high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, um, aches and pains, inflammation, not being able to sleep. There are so many different things that people may have questions about. So I'm going to give you guys the floor and just kind of tell us your favorite recipes, the benefits, and all this great information that I hope everyone is listening to. Cool. Okay. Um, so what we can do first, so we don't run out of time, because we actually want to do like a live demonstration too of us making one of our juices. So we can show you um, how to juice it as well. I'll also uh, kind of tell you how to make it in a blender if you don't have a juicer, because not okay. everyone has a juicer um, at home. Um, so one of our most popular, we call it our Live Now. It's our green drink. Um, it has a lot of great things in it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to stand, I'm going to talk about what's in it, um, what the benefits of it are, and then we're going to we're gonna juice it for you. And then I'll talk to you about how you can make it in your blender, and then we'll talk about some of the other recipes um, that we have. But okay. a lot of people see a green drink and they get scared. Like right. automatically, every time I bring it around or I ask someone if they want to sample, they're like, ooh, I don't really 
do greens. But I'm like, I'm telling you, there are ways that you can add greens into your diet, your juice, your smoothie, and you can't even taste that they're in there. And they're so, so powerful. Um, so one of the things, uh, I'll show you each of the vegetables too, but I'll go over what's in it. So our Live Now drink is made up of kale, Swiss chard, apple, lemon, ginger, and turmeric. So first I'm gonna talk about Swiss chard because a lot of people are like, what is Swiss chard? You know, a lot of people don't even know what it is. I'm gonna hold it up. I have it here, yeah. I'm ready to choose. But this is Swiss chard, <laughs> this big leaf right here, but it has some phenomenal properties. And we actually put this whole leaf into one drink. Yeah. Uh, but just, just a little background on the uh, Swiss chard is, it, of course, it's in the it's in the spinach family, and you've probably seen this um, and didn't really know what it was. But <laughs> it's one of the highest highest uh, nutrition in all of the vitamins. It's uh, Swiss chard is one of the highest that's out there, and this is what astronauts actually take uh, to eat when they're actually you know when they go to Mars and different things. This is one of their nutrition that they keep to get their body regular and everything because it's the highest in all of the um, vitamin properties. Just wow, so it has know. all of the vitamins in it? Yes. yes. We, this wow. is small but powerful. Yeah. I've okay. had people taste this. Um, you can even cook Swiss chard, add it to your right. diet. If you have sinus issues, whatever the case may be, yeah, you low get iron, anything. low, oh my goodness, ladies who struggle with low iron, whether it's that time of the month or whether you just have low iron in general, add, find a way to add Swiss chard into your diet. And to kind of yeah. talk about it a little more, it's high in antioxidants. It relieves inflammation, those aches, those pains, especially if even inflammation from maybe you're not used to working out. And now you're starting to work out again and get that body active and using muscles that you're not used to, you know, using because you haven't been working out. It helps so much with inflammation. It promotes heart health. It is an aid in detoxification. And we mm. all know like everyone is always looking for a, a detox, a way to detox, yeah. a way to cleanse um, my body. And you don't always have to reach for, you know how there's like, you know, cool little detox teas and things like that on the market. There's stuff that you can get right in your grocery store, organic fruits and vegetables that will detox your, detoxify your body way more than, you know, any tea or, you know, whatever you might want to add in. There's yeah, right. Like and, and, and guys, you don't just have to juice these. You can actually um, cut this down and you can, I wouldn't say, I said you can cook it over the stove top, but don't do it like. Don't cook all the nutrition out of it. Yeah, first. right. You know, because you know how we make greens right. and stuff. The nutrition is gone. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, you can cut it down, and you can kind of cook it down, and it won't lose its nutrition. Right. Um, and one thing that you'll see to start to ha happen to your body, and I don't know if you guys understand this, but what houses a lot of bacteria and diseases in our body is mucus. And mm. what this does is, when you eat this and you start to consume it you'll start to feel it come up. You'll feel it come up. It'll, it'll, and you'll start to spit it out, almost like, you know, when you got a cold and, you know, it, it gets caught here and then, yeah, it would actually start drawing up the mucus. It, even your ear will push out unnecessary things wax. like wax. I, yeah. I didn't have, like, this is a real detox. Yeah. Yes. So, so the Swiss charge, say that yes. again, do you what? Get it right at Publix. You get it at Publix, Walmart. I don't know Walmart. if there's a Publix in Fayetteville, but. Um, we, yeah. Okay, yeah. you can get it right at Publix. Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite places, unless I go to like a farmer's market or something like that. But if it's yeah. not always available and you need something quick, they sell it organic at Publix. I think it's like three forty nine dollars for an entire like bushel of them. And it's, it's great. And um, so just cook it up and eat it and. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. And, and it really stuff. will just take on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. So it's not like a strong, intense flavor either. But you will see, add, add that Swiss chard into your diet. Yeah, I'm just make you. sure wow. whatever vegetables, of course, that you buy from the um, store or the market. Um, of course, nowadays they, they spray chemicals on things. So we always make sure that we wash uh, with a little vinegar and water. 
um, to make okay. sure that we clean off any uh, chemicals or toxins that may spray on to reserve the Okay, so you, yeah. you wash all of your vegetables all and of fruits it. with all vinegar and water before you start? Yep, yeah. yep, yep. And some, and some uh, vegetables, we actually carve a little bit um, to get the skin off just in, just in case as a, another measure to make sure okay. there's no chemicals on. Got it. And that's if we don't get it from like that fresh farmer's market, which we still clean it. Um, and also too, when you go to the grocery store, um, always try to buy organic. Sometimes you just can't. And if you can't, still get it. Like it doesn't necessarily have to, but if you have the ability, always try to lean for uh, the organic fruits and vegetables that are in the grocery store. But again, if you can't, don't let that stop you from adding it into your diet. It can still okay. be powerful, even though it's not organic. Right. Okay. okay. And it's a way better option than anything artificial. Yes. <laughs> Got it. yes, most definitely. And so it's got the kale. That's something else that it's really high in antioxidants, detoxifies the body. Um, all of our drinks have ginger and turmeric in them. Everyone knows about the ginger and turmeric. Those are powerhouses. Okay. Um, inflammation, gut health, like anything to do with digestion. It, it's just liver, it's powerful. And your liver. It cleanses your liver. Ginger and turmeric, find a way to add that. I feel like those are just staples. If you can find a way to add that ginger and that turmeric into your diet, even if it's just a couple times a week, you will start to feel the difference in your digestion, the way your skin feels, your clarity, everything. Yeah, and turmeric is at the top, at the very top when it comes to inflammation, as well as aches and pains. Yes. Um, it's, it's one of those things, let's say if you constantly have soreness, no matter where it is, it, it is perfect for um, getting rid of that soreness and recovering. Um, it's even um, on the market known for, hey, people that have, I know people that had sickle cells or certain things that they know that really spikes a lot. Arthritis. That, yeah, arthritis, things like that, that they go a heavy, start doing heavy doses of uh, turmeric to help them feel better and help relieve a lot of that pain and soreness. The okay. turmeric latte recipe that yep. I'll turmeric latte. Yep. A, a little later as well. That's one of my favorite, favorite <laughs> recipes. I absolutely love it. It's yep. so easy. Only takes about maybe five minutes, if that. And it's it's another powerhouse that you can put into your body. But um, and then, of course, we have lemon. That helps with immunity, promotes heart health. Wonderful. It's great for it increases iron absorption. Um, and then we have our apple. And you've always heard of apple a day keeps the doctor, the doctor away. away. It right. really is true, though. It really <laughs> is true. And what I found that with the apple, okay, so you always want to have like a base. So the base of all of our drinks are vegetables. We have our kale and our Swiss chard, but then you will need a flavor. So the flavor in this one is our apple. And um, when we juice, we like to use Fuji apples. Uh, they look like this. But it's a certain kind, you know how there's a, a lot of different kinds of apples out there. If you're juicing or you're using a, um, doing a smoothie, we like to use Fuji. So this is where the flavor is going to come from. We use a Fuji and we use a little bit of a green Granny Smith apple. It is going to really add some flavor to the drink. And then of course, um, once you have your base and your flavor, you have your enhancer. So in our drinks, we either use lemon or lime. This particular recipe that we're getting ready to juice for you now, has a lemon, but um, everyone knows adding a little lemon or adding a little lime to something is going to enhance the flavor. So you wanna add that in there. So remember, anytime you're making a smoothie, juice, whatever it is, your base, your flavor, and your enhancer. Okay. okay. All righty. So we are going to get ready to juice. Did you have anything else to say, Al, about the ingredients? Um, as well as I wanted to talk about <laughs> I killed our lights. Sorry. <laughs> when I plugged in the juicer. Okay. That's how powerful it is, right? Um, but I wanted to say something as well as about the ginger. I know a lot of people uh, fight with uh, sinuses and clearing, you know, um, those different things that's going on, especially uh, respiratory things. Uh, ginger, it's, it's so powerful. It's times where I feel like, oh, I'm getting stuffy or anything like that or my sinuses are coming off heavy, I would just cut a raw piece of ginger like this. Now, of course, I don't know if you had horseradish before, it's very strong like that with that kick, <laughs> but you're gonna feel it right away, instant relief. 
it's instant relief. Wow. So when I when I cut it, I, I get a good piece and I chew on it, it's gonna rush. It feel like it rushed right towards your sinuses and everything here, and it will clear you up, you know. And uh, these are very powerful, very powerful. Wow. That's what you hear a lot of people talk about ginger candy um, with with helping with nausea too. Yeah. People talk about yeah. ginger sore throat, candy. Sore throat, um, anything like that. Because what people don't realize is our glands picks up when we eat food, it, it captures a Mucus. lot of that at excess. And it's nothing that really fights it. You know, you can't stick a toothbrush back there. Some people do, some people try to get back there and clean it. But you definitely want to eat certain vegetables that can go back there and start attacking that bacteria and different things that sit in there. Mm. So that means that right there back in your glands, like there's just bacteria sitting back there. Yes. Yes. But so you need to detox with like a ginger or something, eat some ginger, chew on yeah. some ginger or yeah. some of these drinks to get that stuff out. Correct. You need something to come back that. And that's why people, especially if you feel like, ah, oh, my throat is always irritated. I feel like I'm constantly having issues and stuff like that. Then really look at what you're um, consuming. What are you eating? What are you allowing in your body? Because this, that's building up, you know, okay. so you something to kind of cleanse, cleanse that. Now, we do have mouthwash and different things that you can use to kind of, you know, gargle and do different things like that. I know um, when it comes to gum lining and uh, this part back here, salt water is something simple. Um, right. Can, to gargle and kind of bring that health back too. And so before you start juicing, so a lot of these things are, these drinks are already natural that you make are natural detoxers, de yeah. detox, or is there a certain drink that you do for a detox? So all of the, all of the juices that we make can count as a detox. And it's okay. one of those things too, that everybody's body kind of reacts different because of your diet, depending right. on- right. You know, we have some people who they drink the juice and it will literally go right through them. Like they're going to the bathroom immediately, you know, or sometimes people drink it and they just feel like the energy, like, man, I just, I just feel great. Right. Um, so they all like everything that we put in our juices, we make sure that our bases are powerhouses. Okay. So that way, um, whatever you, um, Whenever you drink them, you're getting those nutrients. So one of our other ones that we'll talk about is our beet base. We have a carrot base, and those are all powerhouses. Okay. Right. And, you know, I tell people, go out and do your research. I mean, every color on a vegetable tree and fruit yeah. tree um, that's natural and organic, they do certain things to the body. And it's in, that's why it's important for us to consume things that allow us to get those different colors of vegetables and um uh, fruits on a daily basis so that way we make sure we're getting what our body needs one of my favorite is the beet you know the peat the beets actually help restore the red blood cells we know red blood cells is what carries the oxygen through your body so when you're talking about uh, recovery or inflammation then beets are perfect for that it's very you know constipation certain things and you know we always try to say hey if you're if you're trying to you know, reset your diet and you're trying to really be healthy and really move forward, then all you do every day is just like anything. You got to start replacing things, right? You just can't go cold turkey and say, oh, I'm going to start eating healthy today. Why? Because your body's going to react and you're yeah. going to make it sick and, and, and because your body is used to a certain thing. So what you, what I try to tell people when they're trying to switch it up and move towards making better options, then wean yourself off. Right. Yes. Okay. I eat a cheeseburger every day, you know, every single day with, with fries and soda. Okay. And my effort is not to eliminate it all in one week so I can go cold turkey, body shut down, and I start having all these issues to recover. No, I start slowly replacing that cheeseburger. Okay. Let me try something that's uh, more healthier in replace of that. And then you start to wean yourself off. And, and that's more of the long term saying I'm making a change. Most people that I see that say they're going on diets, they end up back on it. Like, you know, why are you stopping something just to go back to it? You know, right. and, and that's something that we need to address when it comes to diet. You know, I don't care for the word diet because it's not really a life change. We like to say life change. Habit. Life change. And that's one of the things um, that um, even, you know, on the faith side of it, 
when doing fasting. And we've also been taught, you know, by our bishop, when we do fasting, that we don't just abruptly always stop. Mm -hmm. We wean ourselves. You know, we may start um, a couple of months ago, the ladies here, we did a fast. And so we started out with, um, we started out, we were still eating, but we started out that we just were drinking water. No, no juices, just all water. Then we took out the sugars. Then after that, we took out the meat. Then after that, we took out, you know, the food. And then we did one day where we just did no food. And then, you know, you wean yourself back on, you know, when you get ready to start, okay, now I can add the sugars back. Now I can add the juices back. Now I can add the meats back. Um, and so that's, and, you know, we, and I have nothing against, you know, I think, you know, people do, we do the fasting, you know, in the beginning of the year, a lot of people might do the Daniel's fast or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think it's, if that's what you do, you do. But one of the things I always remind people is Daniel, that was a lifestyle for him. Yeah. It wasn't just, it was a lifestyle. So if we're going to do these things, they need to be lifestyle changes is what I'm hearing you guys say. Okay, so I'm ready for the juice. I'm ready. Go ahead. Let's juice. So I'm going to give you guys the recipe. I'll let um, Albert's going to juice. And so this is our green drink. This is something um, very inexpensive that you can make from home. Um, you can make yourself. You can either use a juicer, any type of juicer. I'm going to turn this off for one second. Any type of juicer. Um, you don't have to start out with, you know, one that's a little more expensive. This is an Omega. Um, this is a cold press juicer, but the one that we started out with, I think was like, I think I've seen it in Walmart for like $40. Yeah. So, you know, you, you don't have to go expensive just because you want to start juicing or adding things into your diet. And then if you, if you have a high powered blender at home, you can make this in a blender and then strain it to get it as smooth as possible. Because one of the great things about our cold press juices is it doesn't ignite the digestive system. So it can give your digestive system a rest. That's why I love having a juice first thing in the morning. It's like you're getting all those nutrients, but you're not overworking your digestive system like right away as soon as you wake up. So that's one of the great things about the juice. So our green juice, is, is very simple. It's one Fuji apple, um, about half of a green Granny Smith apple, a whole leaf of Swiss chard. Yes, this whole leaf, I promise you, it will still taste great. You won't even really know that it's in there. Um, a whole stem of kale as well. And then we're gonna add the lemon, ginger, and turmeric, and literally that simple. So we'll see how quickly uh, Mr. Albert makes this juice. But like I said, this is something quick that you can do from home. And the great thing about this cold press juicer is it lasts for three days um, in the refrigerator where it won't lose its nutrients or five days if you freeze it. So it's something that, you know, you could do on a Sunday if, if it's part of your meal prep, whatever it is, you know, juice a whole bunch and have them for the week. Yeah, and, and realize we're using organic, um, all natural fruits and vegetables, which here's, here's the deal. You're going to see a lot of drinks that say all natural organic in the store. When it comes to uh, fruit and vegetables that's, of course, been pulled from the vine, um, there's a time ticking clock on it. Yes. Okay? Yes. And one thing that you have to realize is, yes. The drink may taste good that's in the market, that's on the market, that's in the store. You know, I understand it's quick, it's easy, it's there, but you're just drinking taste at that point. All of nutrition all the has gone. The nutrition the only survives for 72 hours. If you freeze it, maybe a week. And, and I just want you guys to understand that. So it's way more powerful. And then as it, sits, it loses nutrition because once it's exposed to the air, it oxidizes. So when it oxidizes, it loses nutrition over time. And that's why you don't want, when we, we understand cold press is a slow press that keeps the nutrition. Because if you buy a machine that you put in, I'm not talking about a blender, I'm talking about a juicer that spins really fast. What happens is when you put it in there and it shoots it out, it cooks the nutrition prior to. So you really, you know, you have oh. a second or a few minutes to really go ahead and drink it. So most people that have that fast spinning cycle that it's cooks great. the nutrition yeah. have to drink it right yeah, away. Yeah, have to drink yeah. it right away. So yeah. 
you're you're basically saying you can do that but if you but if you really want the lasting impression the lasting whatever and you want to have it last for a couple of days or whatever you want to get a cold press correct correct Correct. but the ones like i said we what we started out with was not a cold press so it's just one of those things right when you juice it you want to drink it right away so um it doesn't lose any of the nutrition of it so okay you have one of those at home it's still good it's still use it just drink, drink it right it then right, right away okay all right you guys ready yeah all right let's all do right. it all right so there's a method to juicing too i like to get the softer and then i go to of course the harder so what was that what was that this is the fuji apple that yes, i'm putting in right now with the fuji apple Getting that flavor in there. Yes. And remember, it's a whole, whole apple. Fuji apple. Whole Fuji apple. So you start with that. Um, you start with the flavor first. Yes. Yeah. I put my I always put my enhancer in last. So if there's a lemon or a lime, I always put that in last. Um, I tell anybody if you if, to understand a lemon and a um, lime. For an enhancer in this world, just it's just like salt with food. It's, it's so good. okay. So what was that you just put in, Courtney? This now I put in the ginger. I like to juice that in the beginning as well because I feel like it just gets the taste. Like I just yeah. I don't know. I love it. I love putting yeah. the ginger in. So here. real quick, you put the Fuji apple in. Do you put the green apple in yet? No, no we haven't yet. done the green apple yet. We no. only okay. have the Fuji apple and the ginger. Yeah. Fuji yeah. and the ginger. We're only doing eight ounces here. So out of one apple, um, I typically can only use about um, half of that apple, about four slices, depending on the size of it. This is the green apple. Yeah, this is the green apple. Because you don't want to add too much of the green apple because it'll make it like tart. Like, you know how- Give us a nice little sour kick. Yeah, you don't want it to be too sour. So only add a little bit of green apple just for a little taste. Yeah. Just for a little taste. And we're going to do one uh, Russell the kale. Yep. And what I do, so it doesn't, so it's not hard to press down. I kind of take the leaves off and then I put the stem in. Yes, we juice the whole leaf though. And then I put the leaf in. It's just easier that way because if you try to stuff it down in there, it can easily get jammed. And I try to preserve the life of the motor, of course, on here. That's why we had it for almost three years. Wow. We pumped out a lot of juices. Okay. I mean, um, probably about 3,000 juices out of this. Okay. So this was a perfect investment. And then we're going to do the Swiss chard now. Okay. We are almost done. Like It is literally that quick. Once again, I'm going to take the leaves off here. Put this in. Stem first. And then right behind it, I'm going to follow with the leaves. And one thing I want to show you, too, while he's juicing, I know you may not be able to see it on the camera, but this is like the remnant, I guess, or the, the um, pulp of the juice. How you know you have a good juicer is you want your pulp to be dry. You want okay. to really squeeze everything out of your juice that it possibly can. So you want okay. your pulp to be dry. Good. And you know, and you can do whatever with the pulp. Most people use this, you know, they can eat it, they can freeze it, they can uh, fertilize it. Sometimes, you know, if you're growing stuff on yourself, you, you can add it to that. So it's different things that you can decide what you want to do with this. So we haven't put in the, um, haven't put in the lemon and stuff yet. Nope. Nope. The uh, lemon is the only thing that we haven't done. Nope. We're gonna so the- are you lemon. stirring, Courtney? Huh? So what I was sure? doing just now is I was just stirring it up, but um, he's going to add the lemon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it in just a second. Okay. Because you want it to be really, really smooth when you drink it. Okay. Because people are used to the consistency. It's not just the taste too. People are big on consistency. So yeah. if it, you know, it's thick or slimy or, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's pulp in it. Like I didn't have drinks with them. I'm like, it's good, but what's all this stuff in it? Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so we try to keep the consistency where it's smooth and you can just um, enjoy it. Yep, so <laughs> typically you can either put the lemon down in it or we use this little, yeah. I don't even know what it's called. 
Yeah. Um, but we like to use one of these. To me, it's just quicker. Yep. We just squeeze it in there. Right. Okay. And now we're gonna strain it. Oh. That's it, and the, and it's literally that quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. Can you guys see? Can you see, Pastor yeah. P? Yeah. Yep, I can see it. Okay. So I'm gonna strain it. Make it as smooth as possible. And boom. That's it. We have our eight ounces of green juice. It's really, wow. really good. Like I said, it's very quick. It's even quicker. You know, we were trying to explain it, but if this is even something quick that you can do in the morning before work, or you can juice it um, the night before. So this is our green juice. Um, it's one of our it's one of our most popular, but um, like we were saying before, we have a few other juices that we do as well, and you can really kind of get creative. Okay. Um, with it, we can give you some ideas of what you can do, but then you can kind of make it your own. Like one of my um, favorites is our beet. I love anything with beet, and the crazy thing is, I have I don't think I've ever eaten beets in my life before we were juicing and I remember one time this is how big taste is I was turned off from beet for a little bit I went somewhere and I was like man I want some energy and so um they made me a beet juice and it literally just tasted like dirt and I was like how can people drink this like it was dirt and so we found a way to add you know a whole beet into a juice and it still tastes good without having to add any extra sweetener or anything, the sweetness in all of our juices is just what comes from the fruit. We don't add anything else. So these juices are completely vegan, whatever type of diet that you're on, we have a juice for it, whether you're keto, whether you're, I don't know, paleo. Like glucose, glucose, not food. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what I want to do is we have about 10 minutes left. It's 824. We have about 10 minutes left. I want you to tell us the other three juices, what's in them real quick and the um the benefits, and then maybe a couple of other things, um, you know, the latte or a couple of other things um that you feel like people should have in their diet, um, you know, to stay healthy, you know, inflammation, all these different types of things. We might have to have a part two of this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we'll just uh, we'll speed uh, through this because there's definitely one thing that I really, really want to get to okay. um, before we. Uh, so let's do this. Go through these, but we're going to have to do a part two. Okay. Okay. So do you okay. think you guys are available for a part two next week? Yes, most definitely. Because I want people to really get this and I don't want to speed through and they okay. miss things. So let today, let's finish out with these last three little of the juices that you can juice and maybe a couple of other things. And then next week we can get into the lattes and then okay. maybe some food recipes, the gummies yeah. and some other things, because I really think that this is really important. Um, and I want people to to really 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 love this and understand this um so go ahead okay perfect so um we have our beet our yes. red drink this is uh actually our pastor's favorite pastor nikki this our bishop loves the green that's his favorite um lady nick loves our red yes. and it's um it's our beet base so yes. our base is beet and our flavor in this is we actually add grape apple and strawberry and lime is our enhancer. So beet, powerhouse. Um, Albert talked about it earlier, just the, the, uh, the red blood cells. But the great thing about beet is it's high in antioxidants. Again, it helps relieve inflammation. It's a detoxifier. Um, it can actually enhance athletic performance and increase weight loss. Um, one of the things that I love about beet, uh, for me, if I'm ever feeling a little constipated, I feel like add a little beet juice into your diet and I'm telling you, it will flush you and you can feel it. I feel like working through your body, even when you take it, it's like, ooh, like that's powerful. And the reason why it boosts performance because it's blood circulation. So yeah. We're talking about red blood cells, carry the oxygen to the body. Yeah. So if your blood is not flowing correctly and you're not getting the proper oxygen, which is huge, right, to perform to a certain level, then um, that's why it's important to have that in your diet, especially if you're an athlete. Okay. Yep. And then we have grapes. Everybody knows about grapes. I think most people love grapes. We use purple grapes 
um, in our red drink recipe, but it's helped. Um, it's wonderful in reducing blood pressure, inflammation, and cholesterol. I can't even talk. Cholesterol. <laughs> cholesterol. Yeah. And it's very high in antioxidants as well. Grapes are powerful yeah. and they're very, well, sometimes they can be inexpensive depending on where you get them from, but they're great to add into your diet. Then we have strawberries, which are very, very um, rich in antioxidants as well. Berries are just great for you, period. Yeah. Um, they're great for you. They're very, very they're low skin, in sugar. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. berry, berries. And then, of course, we have the apple. Um, and like we already talked about apple in our last use, it helps improve digestion. Um, it helps build your immune system. Apples are just great. Yeah, and remember, when we're talking about taste, we talk about, of course, we're talking about taste buds. You have to train them. Remember, yes. you're not, you may start off like, oh, man, this is good. Um, it's, it's no different when you start liking that favorite chip or you start liking that favorite cake or you start liking certain things. You know, uh, we grew up a certain way. So mom and dad cooked a certain way. So certain things right. that we had to wing ourselves off of. And, you know, when I when I think about when we talk about generational curse or certain things that cycling, well, are you doing the same thing they were doing to reap the same thing? Mm -hmm. they had? So we have to look at those things and say, hey, just like I, I want to get in shape and I have to uh, train and discipline myself, you have to train your taste buds. So as you um, inject, interject these things into your diet, it'll start to offset, well, wow, I'm not as craving much sugar as I thought I was. I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, riding past something like, man, I've got to have that. So it'll mouth, it'll slowly, now it won't be something like, oh, I drank this juice and man, I don't <laughs> crave anything anymore. Right. No, you're still going to have crazy, it's just not as dramatic as now. Yeah, I still like cake. I'll eat a slice of honey bun cake. It just, I ain't got to have it. Every you day. don't have to have you it. Know, it's, body it's more of a doesn't, doesn't crave it, doesn't crave it like that. Okay. Oh, right. So we have the green and we have we have the green and we have the beet. Okay. And then we have our orange carrot lime. We don't have our little toaster with us, um, but the carrot, of course, is the base in that one. Very, very high in vitamin C. Carrots are great. Um, they say for vision. Um, they're just, they're very, very powerful. Um, we have orange, another vitamin C, you know, yeah. full of vitamin C. So the orange carrot, we add the apple in it as well. And then, of course, the um, lime, ginger, and turmeric. All of our drinks have ginger and turmeric in them. If you can't find the, um, the turmeric root, you can always use the ground turmeric. I don't know if you can see this, but this is just some organic um, ground turmeric that um, I got out of Publix. Of course, I always like to use the root, but sometimes they're very hard to find. So if you can't find it, add it into your diet this way. Okay, so just let me add a, ask a question. Because So I seen when you added the, the ginger, now that you added like a little slice of ginger, the turmeric, did you have that or did you have, what did it look like? So the turmeric um, is just a little, like a little shake in it. Like okay. a Way. So yes. with that, so did you guys have fresh turmeric or you, you added that? This. So just like a little shake of it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just a little bit of it. But of course, if okay. you have the root, just kind of like a little bit, like your, like a, your little pinky, not your whole pinky, but just like the top part of your pinky, because turmeric is very powerful and it will overtake your drink very yeah. quickly. Yes. So okay. a little goes a long way with the turmeric. But again, okay our juice recipes we can send you um the recipes if you want to post them or if you guys have questions what was um, that last one right there this, this is yes. elderberry. Oh, this is our elderberry my yes. favorite this my is elderberry favorite. And then, of course we have some other ones yeah i know it's yeah. 8 30 this is so. our family no so keep going you're fine i just oh, didn't know if you had if you were gonna talk. i want to see that one Okay, so this is the biggest thing and uh, before we get off, but this is elderberry. I don't know if a lot of people know about just the, the properties, how strong, how powerful elderberry really is. I'll tell you the backstory um, very quickly of how I started making elderberry, um, but Emmett, our youngest, he actually developed a very, very bad cough. And I just could not get rid of this cough. We would go to the doctor. He would put him on antibiotics. He would still, he would still cough. We go back to the doctor. He'd give him another antibiotic. And I'm like, what is happening? 
And I don't know if I was watching something on YouTube or whatever it was, but I heard about elderberry and I was like, you know what, let me just try it and see if it works. Um, you know, we've tried everything else. I've used Robitussin, Mucinex, antibiotics, nothing would take his cough away. So I went to Walmart and they sell elderberry in stores and I bought some elderberry and I literally saw a difference within 12 hours of giving him elderberry. I was like, okay, there's got to be something to this. And it got to the point where we were running through a bottle of elderberry like a week. I was like, I have to figure out how to make this at home because, you know, it's great to find things in stores, but it's always going to be better when you can make things yourself because you can control, um, you know, what you're, what you're putting in it. You know, it doesn't have all those different yeah. um, things that they're putting in it to make it last. Yeah. That's, what, that's what they do in the stores. They want it to hold its shelf life. So mm -hmm. elderberry, you could probably sit there for a year. Fresh elderberry that you make on your own, this is good for two months and that's it. And you need to toss it, you know? So always keep that in mind as well, but it's got some very simple ingredients and they're very, very powerful. So of course it's elderberry. It's a natural medicine for cold, flu. It helps lower blood pressure. It's great for sinuses, anything. This is our multi, this is our multivitamin. We take this every day as a family to stay healthy. And we have noticed a difference. Even if you start feeling a little tickle in your throat, I'm telling you, get some elderberry. elderberry. It really, really <laughs> works. And my elderberry is simple. I just use elderberry. I'll show you um, what it looks like. I use dried elderberries. I'll grab those in a second. Um, I use ginger. We already know about ginger, how it soothes the stomach, enhances Im immunity, um, protects brain health, increases weight loss, supports the digestive system, clothes. I actually put fresh cloves in it as well. And that's great for your skin, health, acne, um, toothache relief. People know that about cloves, but it's a very powerful little thing. And then honey. Um, I use local honey. Um, it's great. You can get honey out of stores if that's all you can find. But if when um, adding honey to anything, you always want to go local because it's going to help with the allergies. Each, you know, state, um, city, whatever, they all have different allergies, you know, that develop there just because of what's in the air. So you're all, um, we always go for local, we live in- Farmer's Kansas. Market. Mm -hmm. Farmer's and, Market and get the local- market. You want to get local honey. And we actually have a market here. This is what I love. If you can find this, find it. We have a market um, to where they do a honey for spring. They, they do it for summer fall and winter, because we know during certain months, pollen is more heavy. Um, you know, during the winter months, we know a lot of people see that cold and flu. So they have a honey for each season and it's local, local mm. honey. So you always want to go for your local so, honey. Mm -hmm. So there were three drinks you did. There was the green. Yep, the green, the orange carrot lime, and then our beef. Okay, so this one is not a drink. This is the, the elderberry multivitamin. It's the multivitamin that you take a teaspoon a day. That and where do you get your elderberry from? So you can get it. Let me show you what it looks like. Give me one second. Okay. So these are the dried elderberries that I like to use. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. um, but I can post something about it. And you can actually get these off of Amazon. Okay. And this bag will last so long. Like this bag could probably last your family a year. I, it doesn't last me very long because I make a lot of elderberry. Depending on how much you, I make it for other people, um, I turn it into gummies as well. So if you have children at home and they don't necessarily will take a, a liquid, which this, the elderberry actually tastes really good. So I've seen a lot of kids not even have the issue taking it, but you can easily turn this into gummy bears as well. Okay, um, so. I talk about that next time, how to turn Yes, because I do want you to talk about it next time. So my question is, so the, um, so you make the elderberry like on the stove the, yes. or do something or whatever. Now, my question is to you before we get off these drinks and the drinks do um what was my question you already answered that you already answered that 
okay, making these drinks, would you say that it is expensive to make these drinks with the Swiss chard, the ginger, the whatever? Could you give us a roundabout if people are interested in wanting to start making these drinks? Could you give us a roundabout, you know, maybe figure approximate of, you know, how much it may possibly cost? Oh man, um, so we typically buy it in bulk, but okay. to make, depending on how much you want it to make, it, it is very inexpensive, guys. Okay. Like you can get a whole bushel of organic kale, which of course every place you live, prices are different, mm -hmm. but for under $2. And a whole bushel of kale will make you about five drinks. Now tell me, where do you guys get your 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 um your fruits and your vegetables and ginger and stuff to make these things so typically i always like to try a farmer's market first that's okay. going to be your first um your first route should always be and the prices are better a local farmer's market okay i can't get to a farmer's market in my opinion i like to get my leafy greens from Publix. Okay. Our Publix here, you know, it, it may be, it may vary depending on where you live, but to me, Publix has a lot of um, really good organic fruits organic. and vegetables, and they're very fresh, in my opinion. I've tried to, you know, if I don't have time to make it to a farmer's market, I've tried Walmart, and it could just be our Walmart, but it's something different about their fruits and vegetables that I just... No. Or a Harris Teeter. Harris Teeters have pretty good organic things here too. Okay, we don't have a Harris Teeter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Publix Harris Teeter for the vegetables. What about your fruit? The farmer's so, market or? So farmer's market or I typically like to get my fruit from Sam's Club. Okay. Sam's has a, our, our Sam's Club here has a very good selection of fruit. So that's typically where if I can't find it somewhere else, you can get a bag of Fuji apples from Sam's Club for under $5. And it comes with 11 apples and it's only one apple per drink. So that's 11 drinks. So that, can, that kind of shows how inexpensive it can be. I know eating healthy in some circumstances can be really, can seem like it's very expensive, but you'll find when you start making certain things a priority, you'll be able to you find it. You'll find those good farmer's markets. You'll find those good grocery stores that have good vegetables. It just has to become a priority in your life and you can do it very inexpensive. And it's an investment. Yes. So, I mean, there's nothing there, There's nothing wrong with that. Um, now your ginger and if you're going to get real live turmeric, farmer's market? Farmer's yeah. market. Okay. Wanna, that, that's just always my go-to. Yeah, I feel farmer's like it's just, is the best. It's just now, the best, but it's not public. Okay. Now I do know we have a place here that's called um, Compare, Compare Foods and it's like a um, or international store and they have all they have all the yam roots and the turmeric and they have all types of stuff like that. And so I know I would probably find, be able to find some ginger root from places like that as well too. Um, yeah. And you said the elderberry, you order that off of Amazon, right? I get, okay. I get my dried elderberries, which this is the base, because you end up just boiling everything else in mm -hmm. with the elderberry, and I slow cook mine, which I can kind of go through that next time, yes. um, or, you know, whenever we have a moment, but I slow cook mine for about 45 minutes, and then I just kind of let it sit, but you can get dried elderberry off of Amazon, but okay. again, if you're, you know, busy, and you just can't, you know, either find someone who makes it, I can ship you some, or That's you can go to question. Walmart or Walgreens and get their elderberry. Again, it'll still work, but it's just not as powerful in my opinion, as something that's homemade. Right. So that's what my next my next couple of questions were before we get off. The first question is with the the um the orange the the carrot based drink, the beet based drink, and the green based drink. Um on those cards you have, do you have the recipe of like one apple, one whatever, blah, blah, blah. Do you have your recipes? I do have our recipes. Okay. Yes. Now, are they on those little cards? They're not on these cards, but I could send them to you. I have, okay. some, I did something for my job where I juiced and I sent off the recipes in a little menu type thing. I do have the recipes available. So are you open to sharing those with the viewers and I can put those out? 
Yeah, um, the we're actually our first video comes out on Saturday. Oh, um, but so we're actually doing a YouTube channel. channel um, okay. People, I'm like, it's one thing to be able to send it out or you know whatever, but just really being able to show you how to do this um, in the comfort of your own home. So yes, we have a lookout uh, for Revive Family Vlog, our yep. first one. Um, it's coming out on Saturday, but we're going to be doing all of our juices on that channel. I'm going to be making my elderberry, my turmeric. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to have the YouTube thing, but then you'll also have pamphlets or little yeah. menu cards for people that want to, you know, try it at home. Because I know my husband um, had been talking about wanting to do some different things. So I'm definitely interested in those recipes. Um, number one, number two, your elderberry, how much do, okay. So you, do you ship juices? So right now we only do the juices locally. Okay. I was thinking that because, but right now the juice is just locally, but I do ship my elderberry. And how much is your elderberry? So for the eight ounce bottle of elderberry, it is $10. Is, what's how much is that? So this is. I'm sorry, a four ounce bottle of elderberry. Okay. This is very powerful. You only take a teaspoon a day. So this okay. is, you know, our jar that we have at home. This is eight ounces. This is 20. Or mm -hmm. I sell the gummies. The gummies come in a, um, a thing of 60 and that's $10 as well. It's okay. a month supply. So two a day for a month. So that 20, that $20 bottle right there, how long does that last? Well, it's good for two months. So it'll last you two months, but most people kind of get through it before then. It just depends on how big how many people and you know how often that you're taking it. So if you're doing it once a day, taking a teaspoon, it should last you about two months. Yes. Okay. So I want to order a bottle of elderberry and I want to order some of the gummies because I'm not probably going right now. I'm probably not going to make the elderberry. Right. You know, okay. one day I might, I, I mean, because, you know, I love trying different things. I do eventually want to make some of the elderberry. So I would love, uh, but I want to support you guys' business. So I want to order a bottle of elderberry and I want to order some of the gummies. Um, but in the meantime, I would love for you guys to send me the recipes um, because I would like to try to make some of those. Um, and whenever you're ready and I can share them on Parallel Fitness and shot you guys out, you just let me know if I can. And I would love to share those recipes. And I'm gonna, I would love to share your YouTube. It's coming out on Saturday. And what's so awesome? Because guess what? Next week, you guys are coming back with Candid Conversations with Coach D. Um, so um, do you guys have anything else before we get ready to get off? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, I don't. I did want to leave you with when it comes to um, some of the key things I want you to walk away with is one, if you're deciding to make a decision to change your diet or change your lifestyle, then make sure that you gradually replace, you know, um, your the things in your diet. So if you give something up, put something in there to replace it, and gradually do it because it's for the long haul. It's for the long term. Mm -hmm. um, as well as if you have a spouse or you have a family, get them involved, you know, create a challenge around it, do something with it to make it fun, bring it all together and do it as a family. That way it's more effective. Um, so you don't feel like when they eat chicken and you don't, you mad at them, they, you know, well, just pick up a piece of chicken, right? So <laughs> you don't, you don't want to have those wars in the house because they won't uh, motivate you. You have each other that you can pull on to help move forward. And one of the most powerful things that you can do is make sure that when you're buying fruits and vegetables that you really try to find the ones that's local. Um, because, yeah, because you live in, you know, um, North Carolina and we're in Florida, you know, your vegetation, your fruits locally would be more profitable for you than ours here because that's where you live, that's the air you breathe, that's where you operate. And when you bring up that vegetation, you put that in your body, then it makes you immune to a lot of things where you live. Opposed good, that's to good. You get all this international stuff yeah. and you're like, what? From Mexico. This, is, this tastes funny, this made me sick, or this you know, did something different. It's that's because good. you're that's not smart. in their environment. You need to eat from the land in your environment. And that's really more profitable because we don't want it to be a thing of, oh, well, we're gonna ship the whole world. Um, our juices from the local vegetation and, and fruits. Now, elderberry is different, but when it comes to the drinks, 
then we'll just provide the education of how to make it and how you can do it in the uh, privacy of your home. Right. So um, I have a listener, uh, or we have someone that says that they want juices and elderberry. So the juices um, are um, only local, but the elderberry, can you tell us how we can get in contact with you? Can you tell us how we can get in contact with you to get the elderberry? Um, anybody that's watching that knows me, if you need to inbox me and you can't get to them, but please tell everyone how they can get to you so they can get elderberry. Oh, sure. Um, Let's see, one second. So we have a Facebook and a, um, an Instagram, and we'll send this to you as well. Um, when we send out the, the recipes that go with our juices, but hit it, you can find us on Facebook. Yeah, so, if you type in- uh, Revive. Yeah, revive, <laughs> or you can type in fb.me forward slash regain life. And that'll that'll take you to our Facebook page. So fb.me forward slash regain life. Yeah, I'll, and I'll send it to Pastor Demetria so she can post it. Um, okay. our- can you say that one more time? Because I'm going to pin it. What, okay. did, what did you say? F what? Yeah, fb.me forward slash regain life. Or they can type in revive, R-E-V-I-V in the search and you'll see our page come up as well. You'll see- R-E-V-I-V, okay. So fb.me forward slash regain life or revive. Yes. Okay, I got the picture and I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post that after. So I'm gonna put this here um, because I'm gonna pin this. Okay. Good. Um. And her name is Miss Martin. Uh, Miss Martin, if you are still watching, is down here at the bottom. You can contact me or you can look them up on Facebook at fb.me forward slash regain life or revive. Or you can look them up, Courtney Dangerfield or Albert Dangerfield. Yes, we have our yes. individual pages as well. Yes. Feel free to look us up on Facebook and I will get you out some elderberry. Yes, and you can hit me up. You can find me if you can't get to them and just say, hey, Coach D, I was looking for them people that did that revise <laughs> and that did that elderberry and I will get you connected. So um, I have the picture. I'll make sure that that gets posted and the recipes whenever you send them. And um, thank you again. Don't forget, um, when we get off, let me know what I need to do to get my elderberry and my gummies. Um, but for everybody that was watching, this has been Candid Conversations with Coach D, and it was so amazing. It was so awesome that we are coming back with part two of Revive Your Life next Thursday. Um, we will be back. And so please make sure that you join us. If you have any questions, you can inbox me. You can inbox them. But, but we are so excited um, that you were here to join us. And don't forget that it's much more than a workout. It is your life. Okay. And so we will see you next week.